Now we all know the classic story of Alice, so come with me and take a tumble down the rabbit hole to make some treats even the Queen of Hearts would eat. One bite of these delicious cookies will transport you to the fantastical world of Cheshire Cats, Mad Hatters, and of course, the White Rabbit. Start by making a batch of your favorite sugar cookie dough, or if you want to skip a step and get straight to all the fun decorating, buy pre-made store-bought sugar cookie dough, roll it out, and then cut it out with some fun cookie cutters. So the cookie cutters that I chose today are a couple fun hearts for the Queen of Hearts, and then squares to write eat me, take me, and try me. A great tip is after you cut your cookies, place the entire baking sheet in the refrigerator. That's gonna make sure that when you pop your cookies into the oven, it keeps the shape so that your heart actually looks like a heart. So, I've allowed my cookies to cool and I'm just gonna start decorating. Now, you can go to the grocery store and buy these really easy to use icing tubes or even gel icing, they have them in every single color. Or you can just make a simple glaze using powdered sugar, a little bit of water, and food coloring. And you want it to be a really nice consistency so that it's easy to decorate with. So let's just start decorating. And you know, there's really no rules about this. You can dip your cookie into the glaze, or you just kind of can drizzle it over. Now this new series is based on Lewis Carroll's classic fairy tale novel, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It has the same characters, the same plot that we know and love, but there's some dark undertones. So if you're expecting Alice to be shy and meek like in the book, it's not gonna happen. She is a tough chick in this new show. A great tip for decorating your cookies is you can actually buy the store-bought frosting and put it in piping bags or in a Ziploc bag, but I actually like to just use a little spoon. Put your frosting right in the middle of the cookie and push it all the way to the edge and just really have a little bit of patience with it, but you're gonna outline that entire cookie. And since we're using a glaze, you wanna allow it to set and dry. So I'm gonna put that one down and then grab another one. So when you're frosting these cookies, put a little bit of frosting right in the middle and then use the bottom of the spoon to push the frosting all the way to the edge. These cookies are great for a Halloween party, or I even made them for a friend's Mad Hatter themed bridal shower. So fun. For this heart cookie, I'm gonna outline it in this red sparkle gel. It already comes in a tube. You just snip the top, and then you just slowly squeeze it out and follow the trace of your cookie. What's great about these is you can also use them just to outline the cookie and then fill it in with the glaze. So now we've created an outline of the cookie so that when I put this yellow glaze, it's just gonna hang out in the middle. All right, now I'm gonna write eat me on these. There we go. Eat me, <laughs> I'd eat you. You can't have cookies without milk, so we're gonna make some special milk. Almost like that blue liquid that Alice drinks that shrinks her just tiny enough to get through the keyhole. So I have some milk here. I'm just going to pour some of this cotton candy dried frosting powder. I have one pack in my little teacup. So I'm just gonna pour one more pack in there. Give us that nice blue color. Now I found these cute little bottles at my local craft store. So I'm just gonna put the funnel into the bottle and I'm gonna pour that cotton candy powdered frosting into the milk and give it a good stir. There we go. If you make this cotton candy milk, it's gonna take your party to a whole nother level. So using the funnel, I'm just gonna pour it into this cute little bottle. And then you have to have that little signature tag that says drink me on it. Now I have my milk and cookies. While these milk and cookies might not alter your physical form, it will certainly get you in the mood for all things whimsical. So be sure to check out Once Upon a Time in Wonderland. Let me know what TV show or movie you'd like to see in sugar form in the comment box below. And give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide. I'm Brady, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye!